thanks for joining us here in Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2018. My guest is Matt Keller. He's the leader of the Global Learning X Prize. Matt, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Matt, to start with, what can you tell us about the, the X Prize? I mean, it's sure. become quite well known now, but tell us about your mission. Sure. So, X Prize, uh, we're based in Los Angeles, California, and we are dedicated to putting together large scale incentivized competitions, framing the world's grand challenges and inviting the crowd in to solve the problem. So what's, what, are the, what are some of the grand challenges? We've identified space travel by civilians, cleaning up of the oceans, learning uh, by yourself as a child, uh, learning as an adult. Um, you know, how do you capture carbon in a way that can be turned into a marketable product that helps uh, with the long-term effects of climate change? So these are challenges that we pose we put them out there and the crowd comes in and solves them. And it's a really interesting way of, of problem solving. They are important challenges, but they are big, huge, big, in fact, yeah, challenges. Yeah. So um, tell us about what uh, the learning XPRIZE is all about, sure. you know, and how you can improve education using the crowd, the power yeah. of the crowd. So it's, that's a big challenge. You've got 100 million kids who never make it to school because school is too far, another 300 million who go to school and leave without ever having learned to read or write a word, which is in kind of an epic market failure in our in our consideration. So it's a uh, so the Global Learning X Prize is a fifteen million dollar prize sponsored by Elon Musk that challenges teams from around the world to develop software and content designed to bring children on their own and with each other from zero literacy to literacy in reading, writing, and math in fifteen months. So the question is, given that kind of epic failure in the world's ability to educate a big chunk of its children, given the inability of children to get to school, and given the inability of governments to scale quality education at a level that's required to reach every single child, can technology play a role in getting to scale? Not as a way to supplant educational systems, but as a supplement to what's there, and maybe over the long run making them even better. So how can AI as a specific technology help address this challenge? How can it help enhance access to education? Right, so very specifically, you know, we have a, a team from India. I just was watching a video uh, called Chimple, and they're one of our five finalists. And you know, part of you know, what's baked into their application is the machine is listening to the child, knowing what she likes and knowing what she doesn't like. So it immediately engages her in what she likes. Number two, it knows what the child doesn't know, so it brings her along at her own pace and allows her to learn in a way that she feels confident in taking that next step. So it also guides her in, her, in the way that she writes by guiding her very carefully along the curve of different letters and gets her to a place where she becomes confident in being able to write. So it, it's a way of, per, it's an overused term, but personalizing learning, but that acts as a mentor, that acts as a guide, and that is something individualized that most children in the world don't get. I mean, you go to school, you've got 30 kids in a class, or 150 kids in a class, and you're at the bottom of the class, or you're somewhere near the middle, and you get a little lost, and the teacher doesn't have time for you because the teacher's overworked. So can a, a AI-based inferential machine speak to the child where she lives in a way that gives her the confidence she needs to progress to the next level. And that's the future. I'm convinced that's the future. But isn't there a risk that we're going a little bit too fast? Um, you're talking about using very innovative technologies in regions of the world where maybe access to electricity, for instance, right. I I is difficult. So you have mm. to address that challenge as well. You have to use a very holistic approach, I guess, right. to solve a particular challenge. Right. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> because I think, you know, once the, the, one of the objectives is, is we can prove irrefutably that children can teach themselves how to read, write, and do basic math on their own, then we catalyze a market that designs for children living off the grid in a sense. So can you make hardware that's self-charging, self-healing, self-connecting, that requires less than one watt of power so you can maybe crank it or just put it in the sun? Because if you can do that, if you can, if you can create that hardware that is impervious to the environmental degradation that it will suffer in various parts of the world, and you have the software and content that's dynamic, inferential AI based, you've got something that a child can, can turn to for learning where there's nothing now. 
And I think that's the future. So it, we have to expedite it faster. <laughs> okay, Matt, thank you very much. Thank you.